Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be cooking and I'm going to be talking to you a bit about um, diet I suppose and some, more specifically the, the low carb diet or paleo diet although lo low carb because I'm not really paleo today but I'll, I'll talk to you a bit about that so I'm just going to get this on first so I'll be cooking you one of my favourite meals and it's lamb and I'm going to cook it in goat's butter which we've got in here so I'm intolerant to cow's milk but goat's milk I don't really have any problems with so I've got my goat's butter here I've got some already marinated lamb from my local butchers uh, it's really good stuff and just some green veg and some tomatoes here for taste also they're the last last bits of tomatoes that I've got so I just wanted to throw them in also, lamb and tomato goes quite well together too so, so yeah, these are my ingredients. Now, there's a huge dilemma on the internet and, and nutrition in general about low carb diets. You know, a lot of people will say low carb is stupid, you don't need to go low carb. And then a lot of people will say everyone should go low carb for health purposes or for fat loss, etc. And personally, I'm a huge, huge fan of a low carb diet. Uh, also, before we get ahead with this, it, this completely depends on where you stand from, you, you know, your genes and your your background. You know, if you're an Egyptian or um, you, you know, raised in the desert, um, low carb isn't really going to work for you. Although I don't really know anyone that was raised in the desert, but you get the idea. <laughs> um, whereas, I'm, I'm talking mostly to the general population that seems to have this issue with nutrition. Uh, in the UK and maybe American or just generally European, whoever. So low carb, I, I'm, I'm all for it, mainly due to inflammation. Um, high carb diets tend to cause a lot more inflammation and issues with the gut than a, a low carbohydrate diet would. Um, also from a fat loss perspective, it's a lot easier to lose body fat when you're on a lower carb diet. Now I'm not saying it's impossible to lose fat when you're, if you're eating like a lot of carbohydrates, but it does make it a lot harder. And the main reason is, is the hormones, so it's the insulin. Um, when you're on a low carb diet, and a lot of nutritionists will wreck well, a lot of people who are into you know, nutrition and fat loss and coaching people in their fat loss, recommend low carb diets and it does make it a lot easier for the person to lose their body fat because their insulin is not spiking so their hormones generally get a nice reset Let's put the fan on it's a lot easier on the, uh, the blood sugar levels so if you can balance your blood sugar levels then it makes dieting a lot lot easier because you're not craving it all the time. So having a meal like this, which is low carb, I've got high fat, so I've got my butter, I've got the lamb fat, um, I've got high fiber from my, my veg, um, I've got high protein also from the lamb, and low carb, my insulin won't be spiking anywhere near as much, which means my blood sugar levels are gonna be really good. Um, and I'm not gonna feel hungry within the next so many hours, you know, it might take me another three, four, five hours until I need to eat again. And personally, I, I won't be eating again until about six o'clock. It's currently 12, so that'll be six hours, no food. Fun bit. So that's why it's so much easier. Now other pro reasons, so good reasons to go on uh, a low carb meal or low carb diets, or it's easy. It's so much easier to prepare. All you gotta do is prepare your meat. You've got your veg, so you saw how simple this meal is. I got my lamb, I've got my veg, and I've got my oil or my butter or whatever. And I fry it up and this will be done in like the next five minutes. 
usually these meals don't really take longer than 10 minutes in total to cook and prepare. So this is one of the main benefits. All the goodies, very excited for this. The butchers, uh, the butchers, my local butchers, they're a really, really good lamb. Generally, just really good meat in general. Oh, I've got some cashew nuts here as well, so I'll probably just throw a few of these on there at the end. So obviously, if your carbs are going to be low, then you want your fats higher. But if you want, if you're going to go high fat, then you also want high green veg because the fiber is going to help with the, um, the cholesterol damage. So reducing the, the amount of cholesterol being clogged up in the arteries and things like this. The high fiber really helps with that. Anyway, that's about it really for low carb diets. Um, loads of pros: easy to lose body fat, easy to balance your hormones. Uh, easy to prepare and cook, they're healthy, so you get loads of health benefits from high fats, you get loads of health benefits from high protein, and from all the fiber, etc. Um, and you don't need to eat as much, you know, it's, you don't, you won't need to be hungry so much, so it's good for your inflammation, good for your digestive system, uh, it's just good for time as well, you don't need to constantly prepare loads of meals, etc. Uh, I'd recommend this way of eating to most people, um, especially people that don't exercise. If you're somebody that doesn't work out or train a lot, then I definitely recommend a low carb, high fat diet because it's going to make it much harder for you this way to, lose, um, to gain body fat. If you eat like this and you're not training, chances are you, you won't be putting on body fat very easily. Whereas when you eat a, quite a high carb diet, it's very easy to put on body fat when you're not doing much exercise. But to be fair, if you're not doing much exercise, then you've got other priorities that you need to sort out. I don't necessarily mean go and join a gym, but just get moving in general. So, so yeah, that's it for today's video. I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's finished. So, this is what the finished meal looks like. It's not super pretty, you know, but it's simple and it works. If the majority of your meals would, could look like this, so protein, veg, and your fats, then generally you would have a, generally people would have a lot less um, issue when it comes to losing body fat, they'd have a lot less health issues in general um, and problems with food so less problems with, with food it doesn't need to be very fancy you can see it doesn't need to be hundreds of ingredients uh, this and that you just put a few bits together get your veg get your protein get your fat mix it all in um, and you're ready to go it's, a, it's, it's as simple as that don't over complicate simple meals or just simple things like eating it doesn't have to be complicated. Anyway, I'm gonna go and enjoy this. Uh, if you guys have any questions or you wanna ask any, um, or ask any questions or leave any comments or feedback, then please let me know. And if there's anything else you'd like to learn about or know more about, or you have any questions about this meal specifically and why I do what I do, then again, just let me know. I'll get back to you.